guys, Calvin CCM here. Um, just a quick one. Got a mechatronics unit all uh, stripped down ready. I'm um, just going to talk to you guys through some of the basics so you can see. Um, here we got the valve block um, with all your gear actuators on the side. Um, so they control each single gear. Um, these are pretty prone to cracking. They normally crack around this, which is where the accumulator, which is what this is, sits inside. It was quite a common problem. Um, the new actuators and the new mechatronics units that we get, they have been fixed and rectified. They have repair kits for these. So if you do have a mechatronics failure and it is the accumulators that's cracked, you're in luck because they do repair kits and we can fix them quite cheaply. Um, moving on, the other kind of failures we see, um, this is your hydraulic pump motor, which circulates the oil around the mechatronics unit. Um, this here as well, this is the pump for it. So this motor sits inside there, basically turns this, um, and then you circulate the oil all around the mechatronics unit itself. Um, I'll move on as well. This is the more important thing. This is the, effectively the brain of the unit. Um, obviously you've got your speed sensor here. Um, you've got to be quite careful with these because they are quite common for braking as well, um, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Um, circuit boards are all sealed. Again, they are prone to failure on the circuit boards. We have seen a few of them burnt out. Again, they are revamping them and redesigning them to make them last longer. Um, so again, same on the side, the back of the board. You've got all your connectors. This is where your gear actuators would sit on side there, sandwiched together. That's what makes the contact points in there. Um, it's leaking oil everywhere, which is lovely. Get that later. Um, this is a sump, um, like you would have on an engine, on a normal car engine. This is a sump for the gearbox mechatronics unit. So this would normally be sandwiched upon here. Um, all this does is store up your hydraulic mechatronics unit oil um, and allows it not to go anywhere. Um, also gone to here, this is your main block. Um, inside here you do have a filter. Unlike most serviceable items, this is not a serviceable item um, and it shouldn't really need to be changed provided you don't come into any issues. Um, in here you've got your K1, K2 clutch actuators. Effectively what these do is ping out to engage the clutch. Um, obviously you've got two clutches in the DSG box, you've got K1, K2. Um, and obviously they fire out depending on which gear you want to be in. Um, not much room for failure on these, they are quite a simple design. They are just a piston with a couple of seals on it. I've never seen any of these go wrong yet, so fingers crossed nobody else comes into any of these issues. Um, this being the main block, uh, not really much to see here, not really much failures that go on this point. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've learned something. We'll see you next time.